So here I am again with another Lego Horizon Adventures video. Now, one thing about this particular game is I'm not going to leave this game alone. So if you've been on the channel and you know, you've seen maybe my 100th video on this and you're not interested in watching this, I can understand, but you know, please hang out, you know, stay. These conversations are very important because again, you're taking account into what's going on in the gaming industry, not necessarily wanting to listen to me yap. And y'all know I, you know, you tolerate me and I appreciate it. So an audience member of mine made a, a very interesting comment. I thought, man, this is quite the peculiar comment uh, on my video where I talked about Lego Horizon Adventures coming to play uh, PlayStation. Uh, sorry, coming to the Nintendo Switch being developed and published by PlayStation in conjunction with another studio and also making its way to the Nintendo Switch, which will be PlayStation breaking ground to take their game to a competitor's platform. The reason this is significant is because not because they're doing something. Oh, whoop de doo big deal. No, 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 no. It's simply significant because PlayStation fans have always criticized Xbox for doing the same thing, which is taking their games. Number one, first, they criticize them taking their games to the PC platform after PlayStation itself had already sworn that a game like Spider-Man was not going to be for the Xbox or for the PC. Remember that tweet? Let me go ahead and show you. Spider-Man will never be, what is it on? Be on Xbox or PC. There's a tweet and it's been deleted uh, after a long time. For those of you who may or may not know, uh, there was a tweet that actually went out by Insomniac years ago where they said that you know Marvel Spider-Man was not going to be for uh, the PC or for the Xbox platform. And you know one thing about the internet, the internet continues to remain undefeated. And there are tweet photos here, uh, which basically put it out. I don't know, for some reason, the photos don't want to load. I don't know why they're not loading. Let me go ahead and click it and see if we can actually... Oh, the tweet's deleted, actually. Yeah, if you think about it, uh, it will never appear on Xbox or PC. It's a permanent PS4 exclusive published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. I think there was a... Uh, there was a... Uh, what do you call it? There was a, a typo here, but still, you know, oh, the tweet exists. I thought they deleted the tweet. Interesting. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's interesting. The tweet still exists. I thought the tweet was already deleted. So moving from here around, you know, when this tweet was first put out in 2017, PlayStation fans had usually stuck their foot in this argument and said, you see, this is why Sony had superiority against Xbox, because they weren't putting their games on other platforms like Xbox was. And keep in mind, in 2017, let's go ahead and do context, because I think it's very interesting. In 2017, Xbox was only putting its games on PC at the time. So it's very important that we point out these things so that when somebody comes on the channel and says something like, dude, you're delusional, which Sony published first party game is going to a rival platform? Because this is a shift of the goalpost. Remember, the argument is not necessarily about any of this. The argument started out with play, uh, Xbox is putting its games on PC. It's putting its games on other platforms. Hence, Xbox is less valuable than PlayStation because PlayStation maintains exclusivity will never go to PC. But now PlayStation's on PC. Not only is it on PC, it's bringing Lego Horizons Adventures. It's bringing, it's already brought, sorry, until dawn, and it's going to be bringing some other games, remakes and new games to the PC platform day one. It's also bringing live service games to the PC platform. Now, they announced that they were going to do it, but that already shifts the entire argument. So right now where we are, we're in a we're in a very interesting place where PlayStation's messaging is all over the place. Even the fans, y'all can't even keep up. You have to tweak the rules of the game. But I want you to first concede that PlayStation, if you maintain that PlayStation was superior in that particular area, no longer is PlayStation superior in that area anymore. They're now just like everybody else, AKA Xbox. Once you've conceded that and you have no, you know, you have no choice than to concede that, then we can look at, you know, say other little tidbits in this particular, you know, shifting of the goalpost argument, which in this particular case, this person says, which Sony published first party game is going to a rival platform? The answer to that is Lego Horizon Adventures. That will be a Sony published IP, first party published IP. That's going to a rival platform. Now, you may think I'm actually joking. 
but I kid you not, a PlayStation developer was actually celebrating this new advancement. In fact, I'm still surprised that this tweet has not been deleted, but he went ahead and said, we finally did it. We finally pulled it off. Developing a triple A game for Nintendo Switch by PlayStation Studios. So what you're asking me is literally under your nose. And, and I, will, I will be fair. You're new to the video game Fight School channel. And I said that. I said you're new to the channel. So you don't have context of the argument from scratch. So listen to the video carefully and how the standards have shifted. Nintendo and PlayStation are not the same. And I want to be fair to you because, you know, again, you're joining the argument. A lot of the people who were arguing against this stuff, they have backed down. I remember their usernames. I remember their YouTube names because, again, you have to take receipts. I don't want anybody to come out here because let me let me tell you guys something. When somebody says you're delusional and when somebody says that you're saying something that's not true or that's not correct or when they use delusional twice in the same, same statement, like this person just showed up and they already have thrown the word delusional here at the beginning and delusional here at the end. You got to make sure that you save receipts. If you save receipts, it will probably help the argument to be smooth. It will help everybody to realize, okay, this is where we are. And so that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm ensuring that, you know, we, we get this thing. You know how it is in chemistry, in analytical chemistry, where you're trying to, you know, make a specific compound in its most pure state free from as much error as possible. That's what I'm doing with this argument. I'm distilling it down to the most pure form that we can ever get to. And so we can see that all of the indicators are there that PlayStation is happy. It's not just it's like they're they're glad. Like, you know, maybe it's not all of PlayStation, but they got a you know, they got a guy and they got a team of developers. And you see, that's one thing about developers. They love their games to be played by many people. It's those of you that like console wars that just are anti-consumer. And I'm sorry to say, and you don't want other people to play games that you are privy to. You enjoy it, which is weird. Because if and I've said this before, you do not want Xbox to get so happy that they match the money hatting energy of PlayStation. They will kill PlayStation. That's what you saw in that email. We are in a position to spend Sony out of business. You need to realize that this game Sony is playing is a game that they cannot win if they continue to play it. Your PlayStation fans and you know my fellow PlayStation fans, the hardcore fans and my fellow PlayStation fans, you need to watch out very carefully for Sony because if they keep this up and PlayStation decides, and sorry, and Xbox decides that they're going to follow through with this paradigm, it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. But thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys' time and audience. Hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.